May 1st, 2023, also known as Day 77 of the $100 Account Challenge. Here is my disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. And it's a guy in the internet who trades stocks. So if you follow what I do, do your own due diligence and make sure I'm doing it right. All I'm doing is chronicling my trades through the course of a year to see how I pan out. <laughs> Focusing on what I did right. Avoiding what I did wrong. So here we are. I see this morning a lot of stocks is running. Before I go any further, I traded this on Friday. So it's still sitting on my screen. For no reason it's there. But you see my trade on MGL in at 469 out at 530. Which is right about here. Way below the high. The high was 589. But uh stocks running this morning. Let me go to um let me go to uh, the watch list. I seen about five stocks earlier above 100%. So now I see only three. HLP exploded. God, dog, I missed that. HLP. Um, QH. Missed some stuff, didn't I? I missed some stuff. SNTG. GDC. YGF. Check it out, my stocks I needed. That popped up this minute ago. NNOX. Uh, APLM. <laughs> JZ is back, I see from last week. X Y F X Y F Add one more uh, A P L M is already there Y G F is already there I L A G Let me add the same stocks into my my larger account. Give me one second. On my other one and add. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, HLP, QH, SNTG, GDC, YGF, NNOX. APLM, JZ, XYF, ILAG. Now I notice this HLP when it's up over 100%, man. It exploded out of no reason. It bottomed out and exploded. Alright. Let me see what's going on here. HLP. Oh, it's the first candle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the first candle. And it's none to borrow. 1426 right now. The first green candle is a pullback. This might be the move right here. Let me see. No news, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. How would stock move that much? Like that, with no news, pre-market. Okay, let me see, 15, 30. Uh, I think 100 bucks available to trade. Buy to buy, 15. Let me just buy five stocks. Current price is 14.40. It's the first green candle right here too. Let me buy that fourteen fifty right here. See if I can get filled right there. Let's see. It's a large gap. See the gap right there. Fourteen fifty. Yeah. Well, it's moving up. Might have missed it, didn't I? Fifty. There we go. I got it in. 
Let me see. That's the first green 15 minute candle. Look at that. It popped from here to over 20 bucks. So I'm going to do is I'm going up here to 1945 and let it set right there. It's unusual for stock to move that much with no news. Let me buy one more. I can get one more in there. Let me see. That's crazy. It moved that much with no news. Thirteen fifty. See, so pull back. That's the first green candle right there. Popped up. That fast from down 60, 70 cent. But it's moving so fast, I think market opening is going to halt immediately. So let me go to my charts. I'm going to leave that stock right there. HLP. I'm going to leave right there. I'm going to let it ride. So HLP, we right here, top right. I'm in the stock right here. It popped through this. VWAP right here, making support. We run to, to 15, 20, maybe even 25, because the high is, 20, is 36. There go support point right there. That's 15 right there. Almost, there goes support point right there. Resistance point right there. Another resistance point right there. Yeah, that's unusual. Well, I did 300% with no news. It's unusual. 50 million market cap. Uh, QH. I'll put that right there. QH. Usually, I don't buy stocks with no news, but that moved way too much. There must be some pending news coming in. Uh, Chinese stock ain't it? I'm sure it is. Take my support point right there. Um, let's see, res resistance point right there. So here go my. See there. Bottom support, another support, and resistance right there on QH. I got to add right here. We have 1419 right now. Uh, QH. We're going to pop this 17, 18. We had 20. That'd be cool. Um, It would have halted pre in market opening. This is crazy. That would have straight up halted market. I'm going to hold on for a minute. Um, SNTG. I'll put that right there. We have 15 bucks almost. The lines, all the lines I got is no good. Let me get rid of those lines. Move old drawings. We have 14.75 right now. 14.80, 15 bucks can come into that. Look up here. 14.90, 14.95. Let me draw some lines right quick. So we're going to draw, this was a breakout point right here. Draw that line there. Draw that line there. The bottom of this candle on the top of this one. Uh, we're going to draw another one right here. Let me see something. That tapped. So this point here and tapped right here. The breakout window is 502. Next support would be 5.63. So we have this support. This is your next support right here, which is tapping off from here and here, right? Then we have this point here, resistance, and last point resistance right here. I don't count these wicks. I'll leave it right there. Uh, the fourth stock I'm going to add is going to be, yeah, we're still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, G 
GDC. GDC. Uh, GDC. About to make reversal in a second. Something right there. What time is it? Eight forty-eight. It's very rare I trade this early in the morning, but this stock here, I saw it up almost three hundred percent. I said, "There's no reason why I'm not logging in to make this trade in this stock." I'm currently up a dollar and forty right now. That's my point to sell. It's right here at this top of this candle right here. We're climbing up right now. The top is 1940. I will put it at 20. When the second green candle, the 15 minute, which is getting longer and longer, all good. I'll leave it right there for a second. Now we at 15. Yep, we have 15 bucks. And there's none to borrow. NTB. Don't forget that NTB. None to borrow. I'm going to let it ride. Uh, might hold it for like an hour for all I know. I'm letting it ride. I want my my twenty bucks. Look at that gap. We got a fifty cent spread, seventy cent spread. Look at that. It's very active. That's gonna be a hold for a minute. I see. We got a dollar and some change spread between that, the bid and the ass. Let me go up to the group right quick. Very in. I got spell, Joe. God, dog. We're going to say 30 cent to a dollar and this thing, this thing. Come on, Joe. I'm talking too fast. Now it's down twelve fifty. See what it's doing? It's all over the place. Five day fifteen minute. I don't like that line, it's true. Let me get rid of that line. One draw from here. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Check this out, watch this. Let me extend this line to the right. Extend to the right. Watch this line. Watch how it grows and extends. Draw the one minute chart. I'm sorry, the five minute chart. See what it did? Same line I drew. When it pops through this line right here, hold on. Let me make it bigger. Not a lot of lines going through here. The line I drew this now from right here. See this line coming down? It's right here now. When it pops above this, and make this line support, we moon. Keep in mind I said that. You can draw, you draw the back side. You draw from here even. Watch this. Now you've got a channel though, right? All this is now is a channel. See a channel basically. I drew it in. It banged the channel. 
pull back. Bang channel, barely pull back. Next should be a blow through. Let's watch it. <clears throat> Meanwhile, SNTG is banging support, right? Hit support, bounced off it, almost touched it, hit it, spike, you know, threw it a little bit, pulled back. Now we hit it again. What's next, right? It should bounce off it if the channel is correct. As it pops through this point here of 511, 510, what's the line here? I'm going to call it $5. It bounced through five bucks, make five bucks support, then we go to a probably new high. Over here we got GDC. Let me draw a line right quick. Let me see. Uh, my line stops. Drawings, 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 drawings. I'm looking, okay. All right. GDC ain't doing much, nothing. You got news, no news. But also here, it's no news in front like that. So. Financial though, that's Asian for sure. That's Asian for sure. This is uh, I'm not sure. It's MEGL back. This is ain't doing much. It's MEGL back. Let me see. Look like it. SNTG, no news. So all these stocks, hold on a second, y'all. Hold on. Here, but I ain't watching all the way. So let me look at my image. Pop to 340 almost. I got the paperwork out right quick, but look right here. Notice this line I drew, right? Let me get rid of all the other lines. Let me get rid of all the lines. Move drawing. Level eight. Only focus on this long trend line I drew, right? Give me a second. <clears throat>
You came out on ten dollars? Holy crap. <clears throat> Okay, we're all fent up. You can't even dig on right and stuff. Phone. Dr. Horkin office is <sighs> I'm not even watching right now. Uh I feel the paperwork out, so I'll let it ride.
I'm still here filling out forms, so I can't watch as closely as I want to. I trust the process, so I ain't tripping. I see SNTG wants to make that move right there in that candle. Uh, meanwhile, QH ready to cross over to a new high. Um, MEGL failing. We have 480 now, SNTG. So, question is this. Should I have bought this stock here that was running crazy? Or should I have waited to my regular trade time? It's now 9.10 and bought at 9 o'clock, which has been right here. Did I jump the gun and trade too early? Or should I wait to my regular time? Let's watch.
it's been taking too long to fill this paperwork out. Golly, man. My whole life history. This is crazy. Myself, my. We got nine bucks now. Ah, uh, dang, HLP. Is it one of those stocks from last week? Like, uh, it's moving QH though. Look, I said it's gonna break through in a minute, and there it is right there. QH. So, is HLP a MGL or. We had four stocks last week that was going nuts. Uh, I can't think of the name right now, but I'm assuming this one may be like that. So that's what I bought in when I did. We're gonna watch. Uh, Stuff right there. There's a lot of medication in here. on paperwork. My goodness, dude. We got one on here, bro. I forgot about that stock. Let's see. I'll put that right here. I forgot about that stock. Good call on that one, uh, Bangs. 
I gotta buy that one. What time is it? Nine twenty. I gotta hurry up. I'm still filling out forms. You know I'm in the Stockholm HLP up top right. So, give me a second. Nine twenty one. I'm still here, not watching much, but I'm still here. Live day on forms, man. This is crazy, dude. So I was fifteen, twenty minutes ago. Insurance, charge my housing, train check, pregnancy, insurance, citizen, not insurance, okay. Let's come in, finish all our books, I can complain, okay. Excuse me, very late, do not wait, please, can you read it? Already freaking 922. Still filling out day on forms. This is crazy, dude. This is crazy, dude. The spread so wild, man. This is crazy. Well, I got in 13 something or 14 something. Might have been 13 something. Look at a five day, 15 minute chart while I'm waiting. Get a fake out right there. Look at that. I got in right there in the first green candle. That's a fake out. Nice little fake out. Look up top here. This name right here. It's not American. I tell you that.
I want 30 minutes to close the damn paperwork. Man. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. Alright, it's almost 9.30, let's get it done. I don't know where I'm at, let's see. Right Alright, where we at? That's a lot of paperwork. I'm all over the place this morning, let's see. So, waited to my time, which would have been 9 o'clock. Right about here, look at that 9 o'clock move, bam. Right here, 9 o'clock. Not quite. 9 o'clock. Uh -uh. 9 o'clock. Bam, right there. Yeah. Don't trade earlier than you need to, Joe. We have 771. I'm losing horribly. I'm down like 20 bucks probably. $35. That's crazy. And I bought in right there. I assume it's going to run up. Let me get rid of that. We have five shares. I'm down 35 bucks. That is a lot on a fake out. I knew better. Took the bait. Took the bait. No news. It was up two, three hundred percent uh, pre market. Now it was only up seventy eight percent. It was up almost three hundred percent earlier. Well, more than that, look at that. It was thirty six dollars and some change at five this morning. Then it just pulled back. Popped up again, 28, then failed the rest of the morning. And I took the bait. None to borrow. I knew better than about this stock before my time. Look at this. It was nothing for months and months and months. Then today it popped up with no news. The Chinese stocks, man, I'm telling you, they're dangerous. <clears throat> that was a FOMO trade on my behalf. So now I gotta get out of this hole I'm in. I'm in at fourteen fifty two. Let me go up to the top right quick. Ten seconds to go. Let's watch it. Take off the EXT. Add right, day. That's checked. Let's watch. 12 million share float. 
trading three million shares almost. We're gonna watch it, hope it go up for a heart on the way up. We got solid green, one minute chart. I knew better than buy that early. FOMO definitely got me. Let's go. Keep going. We had 8, 817, 840. Uh, let's pop it to 850. They were 870 right there. Let's hit 9 bucks next. I'm watching up here and I'm watching right here. They go hot right there. They go hard on the way up. That's the first halt of probably many. I said somebody earlier. Look, I said, uh, Right here, I think. Uh, did I call the hot? I don't remember. Oh, is it starts moving? Yeah. I might have said it and not actually typed it in there. Yeah, I spoke it, didn't type it. Whoa, 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 wrong stock. Relax. All right, how long is halt going to be? Five minutes or fifteen minutes? It's probably a pending investigation halt, cause that that move it did this morning right here at four in the morning with no news was ridiculous. It seems to me that the insider bought them up just to short them, you know. But here's the thing, though, you can't short them. NTB. So how does it fail that much with no shares available to to short? So I bought it at fourteen fifty two. If I take two bucks, I'm gonna take three bucks at seventeen fifty six. Now I want twenty dollars, but I'm gonna get in right here for right now to watch and see if it can pop this eighteen nineteen. Rephrase that. This uh fifteen sixteen point, and then maybe blow out. Remember, my line is still drawn here, right? I just all day was sitting there earlier. Now I can see it clearer. This line is sitting now at thirteen dollars, right? If it pops thirteen and make thirteen support, no matter what, this line here must become support in order to become very bullish, right? Right now it's in the channel still. You see it? It bounced right here, bounced right there, bounced right there. It bounced again, but barely went through, and look what it did. It almost tapped again. So channel is accurate. However, it went up just now on the heart. We know by now, if a stock moves 10% uh, on one candle, it's going to halt on volatility. 
If you go to my little sheet here, you're going to see right there, HLP halted, AUDP. Look at the codes. Bottom, what code right here? Here we go. Where the codes at? If I hover over the code, it's going to tell you volatility, right? HLP. Well, look, top halted as well. Where the P at? P. God dang it. Top was the one that I was saying earlier halted like several times last week. Look at top right here. Let me go to my chart. That's already in the mix. Look at top right here. Look at last week. It was 260. Top currently is at 70 bucks right now. What else hard tip? I'm waiting for my stock to come out the heart. Uh also I see JXJT on the volatility heart. What's that about? NNOX QH JXJT. That's weird. How did that heart, that little small candle like that? Huh. JXJT. It's out the heart. Look at that. If it pops nine bucks. It came out the heart at eight eighty, I think. Eight ninety-three. See what it does right here. What else is halted? Um Z A P P also has a volatility heart. I see uh, HLP off the hop. Didn't do much though. Didn't do much of nothing. That's trash. It dumped out the hop, didn't it? This is all bad buying this stock. I knew better. All good. I knew better than about that crap. Uh, we doing right here on JXJT. TOP out the heart and it dumped. Came to eighty four. Then it dumped. Next candle. Well, like the same candle is right there. Five minutes. EISL, PSTV, QH is still sitting right there. Put QH right there. What a crazy morning. It was five stocks this morning popping before market opened. That is hot? I think it did. Let me see. Refresh this. 
Yeah, the whole thing too. Hmm. Here's something to look back at, right? I got up this morning. I saw HOP up nearly 300%, but I saw four or five other stocks up also over 100%. Because I assumed when I got down here to my computer that it was going to reverse, pop back up for a new halt. I got in on a new high. I got in right here, this candle right here. I got down at 835 or so, which is right here. It ran up that first candle, then failed ever since that. Meanwhile, if I waited my re regular time, 9 o'clock, 8.30, or 9.25 even, I could hop in right here on QH, which is also one leading gappers. That's 9 o'clock, but here is 9.25 right here. So it will be a new new high. I hop in, bell opens, I'm in, say, maximum 363 maximum. It runs up to 388, which is 23 cent. I hop out or I hold it to the first red candle. Here's my luck is it would ran up again to a high of 452. And then it halted just a minute ago. Or also this morning, the high was um, HLP pre market. SNTG, right? Let me go here for a minute. SNTG. SNTG, right? 9 o'clock is right there. Either hop in 9 o'clock for a red to green move, 403, up to 493. That's almost a dollar move. 925 is red. I don't hop in yet. I could hop in right here on the first green candle, SNTG, right? Red to green move during market. So my trading strategy for my time frames work. I love 9 o'clock, love 9.25 more, but I noticed recently 9 o'clock been the hot spot. Uh, if you look at another stock, you'll see pre-market I had up there, which was uh, G GDC, uh, which would be at right here. GDC this morning at 9 o'clock right here, not much movement. I wouldn't have hopped in because not much movement. And here we are, still market open, still ain't doing nothing. So these are my two stocks, QH, SNTG, if I follow my rules. Instead, this morning, I wanted to chase a stock that I saw running 300% with no news. Now it has news. Let's see. That's not news. Yeah. I'm still in. I'm going to hold this. Now I'm a shareholder, right? I'm not selling for no $35 loss. Thank you.
Da 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 GDC. HLP. What HLP doing, man? HLP is trash. This video has been an hour and shoot 15 minutes, way too long. I'm gonna end the video, but I ain't selling my uh, HLP yet. I'm gonna take a look around and see what's going on. Uh, but I may end up holding it. If it pops this low point, I have to get out of it. Uh, stay green. Oh, before I go further. I'm up 2900 on GDC. I'm up 2300 on QH. I'm up 8400 on SNTG in my larger account. I'll post it in a minute. I'm in the video now. Don't be greedy. Stay green. And be careful of things like this right here. Stick with what you know. Don't be following this foolishness. I fell for the okie doke. Didn't even realize it was a. Asian stock until I bought into it.